Hey, what's up everyone? It's Masterleaf here, and this is going to be a quick video. I just thought I'd show you all a neat little thing that I just found, which involves uh, beam cannons. Now, beam cannons, they have been notoriously bad for not um, combining their firepower into one kind of like beam. Uh, a lot of times they don't do that, and as a result, the beam is generally nowhere near as a pow powerful as what it should be. Let's see if we can recreate that right now. Now it's not quite doing it now, but it might do it in a second. There we go. Okay, so there you go. There's an example of that. The two beam cannons here are have a separate kind of like beam, and um, for every beam cannon, this this is exponentially more powerful. This uh, this uh, strategy. So, in order to get this working again, what I found is if you put every single beam cannon in a group except one and have one of those beam cannons attack the target first and then have the others afterwards follow then you will see a significant damage increase and of course the beam now is how it should be attacking that one target now if we go ahead and attack this amount of tank once again it is not bugging but it has a high rate of bugging a lot of times it will just bug like that. There you go. That's never another example of it. Uh, the most consistent way, of course, is to attack with one and then follow up with the others. And I guarantee you, it's a hundred percent success rate with this uh, method. So again, one beam cannon attacking first, and then the others follow, and that mammoth tank will get pretty much annihilated in seconds. And here are some more examples. Readjusting. Hopefully we can make that bug happen again. There we go. There's a big example of the bug. Sometimes it can get quite severe and a lot of beam cannons uh, kind of split their fire and uh, the damage output is simply not what you would expect. So again, we'll use the uh, Venom to relay the beam with one and then the others will follow. And that Merv tank, again, will be pretty toast. In my opinion, this will make beam cannons a lot more effective in the future. And I guess we'll see a lot more beam strats being used just due to this uh, bug no longer affecting the uh, beams. So, one beam attack the mouth and then the rest finish it off pretty quickly. It takes very minimal effort and um, overall, I think... It's definitely something that I thought would be worth sharing with you all. Anyways, uh, I hope you all enjoyed this short little video. And if I find any other like kind of bug fixes that I come across, then I will be sure to let you all know about them. Anyways, this is Masterleaf, and uh, I'll try and bring some EpiVods uh, after this and more content. So yeah, peace out.